What is good, great gang? We're here today. Let me tell you what's going on, okay? We are going to try our best to do a crawdad catch and cook. But at the moment, we're missing one thing. The crawdads. The technique we're going to be using is just a standard minnow trap. Same exact thing as, you know, normal minnow trapping. We're not really going to use much different bait either. We're just going to use dog food. I use dog food a ton for minnows, and it works super well. But you'll also notice, every now and again, I will indeed catch a crawdad. I'm just going to reach in here. Give me quite a bit of dog food. I'll walk over here to the traps. Pour about half and half in each. That should be good. That should be good. The thing about dog food is it's meat-based bait. If you want me to be real with it, I think the main reason why you catch so many crawdads with dog food is because you catch minnows first, and the crawdads just kind of try to go eat the minnows. I don't know. I'm just saying if you have dead minnows, it's probably going to work a lot better than dog food. I feel like it's more of what they're wanting anyhow. But we'll go ahead and put that sucker up there. <clears throat> Get on the trap and shack on wheels. There we go. Let's get out of here, son. Let's head on down to the creek. We're going to be picking out somewhere that's rocky, because as you may or may not know, that's where crawdads live is in rocks. And water. But still, let's go. Oh gosh, how do I do this? There we go. And so, here we are. We're down here at the creek. I've been here a lot this year. Like, this is probably one of my number one minnow trap spots. But the reason, you can look in there, you can probably see some minnow swimming, but you can also see all those rocks. And under... Well, quite a few of those rocks. There's actually just crawdads sitting there waiting for something to die so they can eat it. But hopefully this dog food will be good enough for them. We'll go ahead and get the string out of there. Let's see how I can set the camera down do this the best I can. Dodge trap trap two hands. Okay, here we go. Now we're just going to make our way down here to the creek. Hopefully not get bitten by a snake or fall in. Both are probably about equally as bad. Oh, look at that. Oh, snap. It's a dead bug. It's a weird dead bug. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm not going to pass up on this opportunity. I don't know if crawdads want to eat that or not, but I'll tell you what, I'm sure going to put it in there. Oh, yeah. That's plus 10 casting. But anyways, as I'm looking around here, to, you know, try to see where I'm going to throw it, I'm either going to throw it right there or right over there. I really don't think it matters a ton. I mean, it doesn't matter at all. Let's be real. Anyways, uh, we'll try that. Oh, yeah, though, that's... No, that's not good. Well, we'll pull it in and throw it again. Mmm... Honestly, that's fine. The only thing is it needs to kind of be flat as possible on that side and on that side. That way the crawls can just go from the bottom and crawl right up in it. And then we're good. And like you saw, I have two traps. I'm going to go set one more. Probably way down there somewhere. I'm probably not going to show it on video just because it's pretty repetitive. It's the same exact thing. Just go pick a rocky spot and throw a mineral trap at it. But one thing I do want to let you know, if this doesn't work, which you got to keep in mind, there's always a chance that it doesn't work and we don't catch any crawdads. If we don't catch any crawls right here, we're just going to go manual. And what I mean by manual is just getting our butts in the creek and flipping rocks until we find a few. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and set this other minnow trap. And I will see you guys tomorrow whenever we come back here and check the traps. Oh, Lordy mercy. I'm doing bad, dude. And here we are, guys. We're back at the creek. Now we have Abram, Top Chef finalist, season 17. Yeah, I can make a mean egg sandwich. He's with us today, gonna help us cook up the crawdad. But before we cook a crawdad, we gotta catch a crawdad. Right there's one, actually. He is right there, actually. But whenever I walked up here, I saw a ton of others skirt out here. So if we don't catch any in the traps, we definitely know where we're gonna get some. But let's just hope we get some in the traps. We'll get pull it up here. See if we got on crawls. I'm sure we do. Check, 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 check. Okay, we do. We got a crawl. That's good. We at least have one. We might have two. I'm not really sure yet. But we also got some minnows, and we didn't plan on catching minnows. So what do you think we should do with them? What do you think we should do with the extra minnows? What do we do with all our minnows? Eat them? No. Oh. Put them in the pot. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just I take... What? <laughs> what? I thought this was... Never mind. <laughs> what? Oh, look what we didn't do. We didn't bring the minnow bucket. Well, um, hey, we do have this, but we can't take all the minnows back. Why not? Because I don't know if all the minnows will fit in there. Yes, they will. Sure they will. Okay, here. Hold the camera, and I'll try to make this work. Water bottle portable pool pond right here. you seen it live, folks. Should you get some different water? Nah, they ain't going far. Oh, no, never mind. We just got one. I don't really know how this is going to work, if I'm going to be honest. This is, like, really weird. <laughs> Okay, that's different. I guess that's one way to do it. All these minnows are so fat. See it right there? Mm -hmm. Got a good view of it? Yeah. It's so fat because what happens is they eat the dog food and then because it, you know, it expands whenever it gets wet, it actually goes inside, they eat as much as they can, then it expands. That's why they look so extremely fat. Which is okay and everything, nothing wrong with that. I'll go ahead and take some of the dog food that we didn't catch. Toss in there right there, that way they can go ahead and eat some of them. But we're not done. There's still some minnows and a crawdad in this trap. That right there, another pretty gigantic minnow. That's probably one of the biggest ones. 
he may not even fit in there. He had a hard time, but one more minnow and then the craw. And here's the craw. This is actually the little guy we're gonna be eating. I'll try to set him on my hand, but he'll he will immediately grab it and start trying pinching it. But uh yeah, there he is. He's pretty good size. He's just he's about to pinch my pinch my hand. But uh yeah, that's what we're eating. I don't know how I'm gonna stick him in here. We don't have to, because crawdads don't need water. I can actually just toss him in the trap like that right there, and uh, he'll be perfectly fine for transport home. I'll put the cap back on the water bottle, and we'll latch the trap back. And now we have the minnows right here. If you can see them, they all look really funny because they're so fat in such a small space. But it's okay, they're literally going, I don't know, 200 yard mule drive. And then we have the crawdad in that trap. But we're not. But we're actually not done. We have another trap and it's set right over there. It also has pretty good possibilities of catching some. So let's head on over and check it. Let's... There it is. I've never trapped this spot before. Mm, 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 mm. Um, only minnows, no crawls. Oh no, we got a crawdad. Never mind, we got one. We only got one though, so I don't know. Back to the basics here. Man, he's tiny. He's a super tiny crawdad. Now I gotta get all these minnows and put them in this water bottle. <laughs> take, the, take the wrapper off. Okay. <laughs> that is a lot of minnows in a pretty small space with no oxygen. But the thing is with oxygen, they're gonna be fine. We're not going very far at all. Now the two crawls that we do have, they're not extremely big, but the process to cook them is gonna be the same for big or small. I tried to rake off some of the uh, bugs off the bug zapper today and I kind of forgot to unplug it and it started sparking, it was kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but here is the minnows. Like Abram was saying on the way over here, this is gonna increase our minnow population in the pool blonde by like 50%. But I'm gonna go ahead and put them in there before they start dying of lack of oxygen because there's not a lot of oxygen and a whole lot of fish. I'll go in here and try to put them in one by one. Wow, that is kind of cool. Some of them seem a little stunned right now, but that's totally normal because they've been in a bottle for the last five minutes. Like that one, he's alive. He's just now getting his bearings straight. I believe they'll all survive. Worst case scenario, maybe we lose one or two of the small ones, but I really, I, I think oh, they'll all be okay. This one's struggling. <laughs> that one's struggling. Now they're all good. They're just kind of stunned. Pretty obvious reasons. <laughs> but now let's check out the crawdads, which are apparently going wild in here. We only got two, one extremely small and one just small. This one that my hand's over right now is a small one. The one that my hand's over right now is the extremely small one. But we can still eat them. I don't think that'll be a problem. There's not going to be a ton of meat, but we can still eat them. Preferably you wouldn't even want to eat any this size, but in this case, that's kind of all we got. And we're just wanting to eat it just to see how it works and everything. I've done a crawdad catch a cook before, but we're just going to do another one. I don't know. The more the better, too. Since there is, isn't is much meat on these at all. The key, if you're going to eat these for like a, a meal, is you want a bunch. Let's go get the rocket stove. Here we go. We're going to get the rocket stove. It's this a is going to be fun. It's this gonna is be... going to be fun. Now our plan, you know, get this thing cooking up and running. Put just a standard little pot on top of it, right where my Mario socks are. And then just boil some water, stick them in. They turn bright red, but you'll see here later. Then we'll eat them once they get done. But right now, we got to figure out how to start a fire in this thing. We'll let Abram do it. He's the fire expert and the chef from Master Chef Season 17. Yeah. Big sandwich. I guess we set up shop right here. I'll let Abram go ahead and start finding all of his fuel. That's a lot of fuel. Yeah. How we doing, Fire Marshal? Pretty good. Pretty good? Looks like it. How we gonna set this down? Inside the little things, I guess? Right there? Okay, that's good. Now what we got here, just a little rocket stove, basically a fire going. Then we got a random little pot. 
with a, with a little bit of water in it usually you know the more crawdads you have the more water you're going to need but we only have two so that right there that's perfectly fine now i know what you're wondering kendall dude why is the pot wrapped in tin foil well the reason is just simply so the bottom of the pot doesn't turn black that's basically it because uh you know i don't know about you but that is definitely my favorite hot dog boiler so i ain't about to get it dirty you feel me or not so walk us through what are we doing here Abram? Keep the fire going. You got a stick fire, sticks, mm -hmm. in the hole. Yeah. And it burns them. Sweet. How, how long you guess until we get a boil? I don't know. I'll bring the crawdads over here. We're going to name them nothing because we don't name things we eat. Here's the crawls right there. We'll set them there and let them watch the fire they're about to be cooked on. Tell him what this guy was doing to you, Abram. <laughs> he was on my he was on my arm and I hit him with a stick. And it, <laughs> he he fell to the ground. <laughs> and it killed him. I epically destroyed this dude. And now, can you guess what we're about to do? We're about to feed him to the pool pond. There he is. Eat that, big boy. Eat that. Push him over here in the middle. That's what you get for trying to mess with us. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Oh, oh yeah. Justice Sorry. has been served. Oh, he's still there. He missed it, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they'll try again. Meanwhile, our water might be boiling 30 minutes later. The tin foil kind of messed it up a little bit and it wasn't boiling at all. So we had to take off the tin foil and I think it's actually doing pretty good right now. Okay, Abram, here's the cool part. Feed it a little bit more wood and I'll be getting the crawdads. Now, the water is boiling, it's ready. Some of you may be wondering, how are we going to kill these guys? Because obviously they're still alive. And the answer to that is, well, you kind of just throw them into boiling water and it kills them like that. It's super quick too, I mean, it doesn't take very long. One thing I want y'all to know is, uh, or to notice, I'm gonna go ahead and throw them both in at the same time. They're both alive, which is okay. They won't be alive long, but uh, they're gonna die pretty instantly, so don't worry about that, but we'll be able to watch them turn red. Right there, they're dead right now, definitely, but hurry, flip them, flip them, flip them. They're turning what? red, they're turning red. Flip them over to where you can see them turn red. Now they're red, yeah. They're still upside down. <laughs> Can't. That's why whenever you see like people frying crawfish, which are basically the same thing, they're always red. Not necessarily because they start off red, but because after you cook them, that's just what color they turn. Since they are fish, they're not going to take too long to cook, and we could even eat them raw safely because, you know, it's like sushi. But we will let it cook for a little bit. We didn't put any seasoning on them. We didn't, I don't know, we didn't put anything in the water. It's just boiling water, and then we put the crawdads in there. So nothing special here. It is what it is. Pretty simple. We'll let them cook there for a few more minutes, then we'll go dump them out. We'll go and start eating them. What do you think, Avery? You've never ate a crawdad, have you? I've ate one before. What do you think it's going to taste like? Oh, uh, I don't really know. We'll see. We're really just going to dump them out here because we don't have a plate. Because we really don't need a plate. While they're cooling down, we'll get a little up-close view because... Honestly, I just think that's one of the coolest things ever. How it goes from a dark brown, same exact color as a rock. And then something happens whenever they get hot, they just turn bright, bright red. I mean like red lobster red. Kind of ironic because these are literally like small lobsters. But even though these are small lobsters, we're not going to be eating the uh, pinchers. Like you maybe do them big lobster. I don't, I've never had a lobster. Have you? I don't think I've ever ate a lobster. I had a lobster tail once. Well, that's what we're going to be eating here. The tail is the only thing big enough on these guys to eat. And the way that you eat them, I'll just save that for later and I'll show you here in a minute when we actually do eat them. That's a weird looking creature. We need to get a pool pond set up with those guys. Probably what we need to do next. A crawdad pool pond because those things get fired up when they're in a feeding frenzy. You can sit there and watch them eat stuff. All right, you want to eat it now? How do you do it? All right, so what you do is you take the back and the tail about right here, hold it right there and right there, and then you pinch it and then push in and twist. Or pin push in and twist. Oh, yep, there you go. <laughs> hold it, hold it right there. Mm, let me get a good view. That right there is exactly what you're eating. You just suck that right out. <laughs> How do you feel? Is that the guts? Uh, I don't know. Probably. You no, you gotta eat it. No, you gotta. You can probably wipe off the brown stuff if you want to, because I'm not really sure if that's even meat. But besides that, the white stuff behind it's great. I'll go ahead and eat that one if you want me to first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what are you looking up? I'm What'd looking you look up? up? I'm looking up. That's actually the... Is that safe to eat? Abram's over there Googling, are crawdads safe to eat? I ain't one, I ain't dead yet. Here you go.
I got an extremely saw one, so there's not a lot in there. That was a really small one, but I did get a little bit of meat out there. Here, now it's time for Abram to eat no, his. No, that's poop, man. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I just Googled it. What'd it say? That's poop. That means it's minnows. There you go, now just eat that. Mm. Yeah. You eat it. You eat it. I already ate mine. No, it's gross. No, it's really not. You don't taste it at all. I mean, like it's not there. It's not there anymore. Go ahead and eat it. How you? Hmm? How you get it out? Uh, you gotta suck on yeah. it. <laughs> you gotta suck it. It's just like fish. It's just... No. No? I don't like that. <laughs> Major disrespect to all crawdads out there. Yeah, what did you look up? Tell us what you looked up, because that must have had a pretty big factor on it. I looked up this... I looked up if the brown stuff was poop. <laughs> and? And I looked on this website, and they said, "Yeah, there was a bunch of people talking about it, and they were, they were all like, if you don't eat, if you don't eat the poop out of a crawdad, you're a little sissy. <laughs> Only women don't eat the poop in crawdads. <laughs> and Abram didn't even eat the crawdad. No, that's gross. <laughs> Why? It's poop. I'm not eating poop. <laughs> Guess you're a woman then. I'd rather be a woman than eat poop. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> don't don't put that in there. Why? <laughs> I take that back. Why? Because <laughs> if my dad sees that, he'll kill me. <laughs> Just a little bit. I don't really know. I'll flick him over, see what's going on. Oh, poor old Bobcat. Yeah, there he is. Still, just like I said, guys, I mean, he's pretty warm, but 